Hi, this is Linda Cromar with lindacromar.com, and I'm talking to you in a sunny, very early Monday morning. And I wanted to talk to you a few minutes about something that kind of occurred to me that I think a lot of people don't get when it comes to online marketing. And I want to relate it to you in a, a personal way. Now, just I had an incident just this morning. I have a house full of family because my son is out of work and he's trying to kind of get his feet back on the ground and he has a family. He has three teenagers and so the problem is is that uh, teenagers tend to be a little bit selfish. Now actually not all three of them are, just one in particular. And uh, what that does to the whole family is make everybody kind of angry and kind of feel like they're putting upon because this person doesn't want to pull his weight, doesn't want to take care of his part of the family chores, whatever they are. And this can relate also to when you are building a team, when you are working online. Do you feel like you're doing all of the work and you're not getting any of the glory? That is sometimes what happens. And it doesn't seem very fair. And sometimes you see others that appear to be not doing anything and yet they're getting their benefits without trying. Well, it's not really that way actually in the internet. What happens usually is those people that appear to not be doing anything have already laid a really strong uh, groundwork underneath their marketing. And they have already done a lot of the things that you now have to do. Maybe you have to work a little harder and feel like you're giving more than you're getting at the beginning. But it starts to turn around at some point. And it's, I can promise you it does because I've been there. I've been there in that place where I felt like I was giving everything and not getting anything back. You know, I've been working on my mother's journal and uh, reading a lot of her entries, I see a lot of the selfishness in there. Not that my mother was a horrible, selfish person. She wasn't. But she gave and she kept seeing all of the things that she wasn't getting from what she gave. And <coughs> in our own lives or in our internet, we want to make sure that we realize that in the beginning we probably will give a lot more than we get back. We will probably work a lot harder and see a lot less reward. But if you are willing to take the time to lay that groundwork, then there is going to come a time when it'll appear that you're not working at all, and yet you will achieve some results. Does that mean that you'll stop working? Probably not. But it probably will mean that you'll have less effort that you have to put out on a regular basis. This is really kind of the the law of attraction and how it works. At the beginning, you have to make enough of a dent out there that people will see you and they will start to see your value and then they'll want to have more of it and then they start to join you. That's what's starting to happen with me. I am really having a lot of success because I have put out a lot of value and a lot of people are joining me simply because of what they have seen from the things I share for free. Now does that mean everything I give to them is free? No. I definitely do not do that and, and matter of fact I have a message at the end of this that will confirm that. But in the meantime don't be discouraged because you feel like you're giving and not getting. On the other hand, there is a time when it is perfectly okay to ask for the sale. And it's perfectly okay to expect to be paid for what you earn. Like for instance, I went to church and I got in a conversation with a lady that uh, she, I have a lot of expertise with creating, helping people with their pictures and uh, with their pictures and with their uh, uh, family history and scanning them. I did that for my mother. I've got all of that done. So I was telling her a little bit about what I was doing for her and she asked me if I would like to do that for her. 
Well, the thing is, is that I don't do it for free. And I had no problems telling her that it would cost her $20 an hour. Very likely, she won't accept that bill because she thinks it should probably be $5 an hour or something. Well, I just my time is just too much too valuable to do that. I can't spend that kind of time for nothing. Not because I don't think that I want to give my time, but because that time has become too valuable to just give it away. That's where I'm at now, and that's where you can be in the future if you keep on working at sharing your value. And one of the very best ways that you can do that is to have a tool like My Lead System Pro. My goodness, it works so well. Because you can give away some very valuable trainings, and then you can share your own personal insight, and then you'll actually have some sales to help support your advertising efforts. That's what I have to share for you today. This is Linda Cromar from lindacromar.com. Make sure and click on that link on the bottom and get started with My Lead System Pro so that you can have a better situation for your advertising. And we'll be talking when you get inside. Bye for now.